Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Triple Drive Booster Special Series Booster Box opening. I got three of the newest Cardfight Vanguard reprint series. A really awesome set that has a good amount of reprints in the actual booster set while introducing two brand new decks and I believe one new Regalis piece as well in the set. But I think the big thing that people are after in this set are the new SIR rares or special, uh, you know, illustration uh, rares. So alternate arts for a bunch of different cards, including the trigger units and then a bunch of different units or, you know, main units for decks as well, including Leonorn, uh, Nirvana, Youthberg, you name it. All these cards have new illustration rares in this set. So I got three boxes to open for you. And I also got more of this set on the way because it is definitely a very good reprint set with a lot of good reprints. So we'll test my luck with the first three boxes and see how we do. We'll go ahead and zoom in a little more. And you get 10 packs per box and the big thing they advertise with the set is you get one triple rare per box now at least not not per box per pack and then there's the one guaranteed sir rare per box as well but looks like their advertising will dress still and oh cool i didn't know we get a promo also so that's pretty awesome stealth fiend shenry for our first one i wonder if it's a different promo in each one or if this is just the same promo i guess we'll see when we open up the other boxes very cool and like most of the reprint sets the packs do look a little generic but still let's see how we do all right so first pack and our first triple rare is all right cool we have chakrabarthi phoenix nirvana jiva and it looks like they have the same triple rare foiling as they did in their initial boosters but still very awesome and then we have a hyper speed robo shovel stud for our double rare so my guess is we get one triple rare one double rare and then the last spot is the rare which oh nice that's a pretty good rare also oath of vengeance the uh very expensive promo for a time but now reprinted as a rare so, yep looks like you'll get 10 double rares 10 triple rares and 10 rares per box but still very very nice next pack and our next one is another, I mean, they're all good triple rares, but this one, Demonic Stone Dragon, Rocker Gore for the Drajeweled deck. This is the Soul Blast 4 Restander for the deck. And our double rare is another promo. I believe this was actually a regional promo. So finally, hopefully readily available, uh, Flower of Ruined Castle and Posa. It's more of a generic, I would say, for the Soul Blast 4 options still for your Vanguard's ability. So a needed card for Drajeweled. And Flaming Pony for our next rare. This card has had a promo printing and a reprint, but still a very good uh, one at that. So two packs in, already doing pretty well. I'm curious if the illustration rare will be in the same spot for all of the boxes. But we have Cardinal Deuce Orphist for our next one. This is the original Orphist also reprinted in this set. So interesting there. And we have, oh, here is one of the new cards. This is for the new uh, Dragon Empire deck uh, for Rot Iron, I believe it's called. Rot Iron Workshop of Burning Flames. So one of the orders needed for it. And our rare is Aspiring Maiden Alana, which they have reprinted a good number of the triggers in this set as well. I think some of the more pricier ones to pull are the actual illustration rares for the triggers, just because they're all different arts. If you're looking to change up your trigger lineup next pack all right we have fountain of knowledge eva with the new cards you only really need the one eva because you you know ride into the other copies so awesome our double rare is a nucleate angel for keter sanctuary it's more of a generic uh by riding from a grade three yep so it looks like a uh, card for youth Burke, maybe more than likely, but still seems pretty generic. And here is the starter for the Dragon Empire deck, Smith Apprentice Zedlons. So it's it's a dragon themed deck. I may build it, not sure yet. We'll see how much I pull from my boxes for the deck, but still very happy with the pulls so far. We have opened up four, got some pretty awesome triple rares, and still two boxes to open after these also. But next pack 
And we have another, I'm going to say it for all of them, I really am, Atrocious Moth Girl Mabel. I needed some of these just for some of the generic options for the Keter Sanctuary decks. I do want to build the new Divine Skill Keter deck when it comes out. And I think you do want to run Maple. So just to have one now as a staple is a plus. And we have Diablos Jetbacker Leonard. I knew this was a triple rare now. Uh, reprinted in this pack as a double rare and our rare is one who governs chaos for chaos one of the soul builder orders for the deck also and let's get all the wrappers out of the way because we have i believe four five packs left yep i can't count because we've opened five so far but Knowing we pull something good from every pack at least makes me want to, you know, enjoy everyone also. Oh, we have the Grade 4 Sylvanhorn Beast Emperor, Magnolia, Elder, awesome. And Scarlet of Fluttering, Evanescent Life. They've reprinted a lot for the uh, Regalis uh, decks or the Glitter decks also in this pack, I've noticed. With our rare being Blaze Maiden Parama for the Trigger Spot also. I wonder if there's like a guarantee you get maybe like three triggers per uh, box i guess we'll see in a bit but next pack we have gravidia nordlinger to go with the many different you know vanguards for brontgate i'm pulling from this one box alone and we have oh nice this is one i actually was hoping to pull at least maybe one or two copies of because i still need them for my blaster deck and it is knight of inheritance emmeline i'm glad they reprinted this again because with the last reprint it was still such a pricey card i hope it's more readily available with this pack being a double rare and knight of old fate cordiella to go with the and Emily and I just pulled since they're both Blaster Blade support also. But I already have all the Cordiellas I need still. All right, we still have an illustration rare to pull from this box also. Hopefully it's coming up soon. Uh, we have Soul Awakening Dragon Norse Luham Maris. This is actually, I believe, the backup support. Or I guess it looks like, unless it's like armor, I believe you wear for the Vanguard. So you ride it. As, yep, so that's how this card works. But still, it's a needed card for the Keter Sanctuary deck, which I believe they're from the new manga that's been out for Vanguard. And we have Sylvanhorn Beast King Magnolia to go with my grade four triple rare I pulled. And Ameliorate Connector for our trigger spot for the rare also. Alrighty, two packs left. Let's see. Got anything on the way for an illustration rare and we have go ahead makani I, I don't know how expensive this card still was but it was a pretty generic soul charge card still awesome and galactic base i guess for the hero deck and ardor hatchet dragon another good card for overlord and finally uh, i believe this might be the first actual non-promo reprint for that one but our last pack should be the illustration rare interesting if it's going to be on the bottom of the box for all of them but let's see and we have all right so there is not one in this pack youth burke rebel form tempest up oh, there it is awesome it is actually one of the trigger units so it doesn't actually take up a triple rare spot which is nice also but we have blaze maiden parama i'm completely okay with it taking up a double rare spot i think that kind of sucks if it did take a you know triple rare spot but we did pull a tempest but the pull I'm more happier to see is the front trigger for Dragon Empire. It does look very, very awesome. And our rare to go with it is Fairy Candor Dairy, one of the over most overlooked cards in a pack for sure when you're pulling a triple rare like Youth Burke, Rebel Form, Tempest, and then the awesome front trigger also. Very, very nice. It's even got that kind of special foiled texture to it, so not going to complain at all with a pull like that. So now that I know where to expect it, and we have this promo as well, we got two more boxes to open. So let's see just what we can pull. And we'll see if it's gonna be the last pack like it was in the other ones or not. Oh, looks like the same promo again. I wonder if it's just by chance or if it is gonna be the same promo per box. Maybe that means it won't be too, too expensive, but just another way they had to give out a promo maybe also. All right, so first pack, and we have Gravidia Baku Birito for our support to go with our other Vanguard, or, you know, Gravidia Nordlinger that we pulled from the previous box. We're going to try and separate all the cards per each pack also. We have Diablos Returner Derek and Rising Smith Zedlons, the grade one for the Rod Iron deck in the form of a rare. 
So I keep all these separate for each individual tile also. Let's see what we get with the next pack. And oh, nice to go with our grade one. We pulled the grade three copy of the card and that is Rot Iron Dragon Zedlons. On the Vanguard Circle, it has the additional uh, drive check, I believe, or no, it's a drive plus one, and then it's a restand power also. So a pretty pressured Vanguard for sure. And oh, nice. So it wasn't the last pack, but our uh, special illustration rare was Gravidia Nordlinger. So I actually have this deck. So the fact that I can replace my normal copy of Gravidia with a beautiful illustration rare like this definitely is an awesome pull. So I guess they're not guaranteed to be the last pack. It was the second pack in and we pulled it. And we also have Protection Magic Perobi, which, fun fact, this is actually the most expensive illustration rare, aside from, I believe, a, you know, secret rare copy of Leonorn you could pull in the pack just for her art. But still, this is a very, very nice pull, and I definitely can't wait to put it in my deck also. Next pack. I've also been wondering, like, if there are some decks I want to, like unmask and go back to the generic forms which our next pack also we have youth burke rebel form gust so very nice there like you know the mask versions aren't that great for some of the decks so maybe i just want to turn them back to their original forms and the biggest one i'm thinking for that is gravidia nordlinger so if you guys would like to see a deck profile which is the original gravidia for an update definitely do let me know and we have to the shining stage the order for roroa and also bard of heavenly song alpac Still shocked that we pulled the illustration rare. I wonder if there's a chance to pull, you know, like a second card or maybe like a double frame rare. Because if you look at the box, there is a spot for 14 types of double frame rares and 17 types of secrets. So maybe you pull the illustration rare and the other spot doesn't get taken by anything. All right, we have Demonic Jewel Dragon. I don't even know how many copies of this card you run anymore if you're running the grade four, if you still have to run other copies or not. And we also have the World is a Blue Research Lab for Eva. And also Diabolos Girls Natalia. So we got three triggers so far for our rare spots. Did I pull three from the last one? One, two, three. It looks like I pulled three. So I'm wondering if that is a guaranteed ratio or not per box. But we have, all right, we're pulling all the forms of Youth Burke, Youth Burke Skyfall Arms this time. And Sturdy Wall Equip, Vils Virena for our double rare, with our rare being a very interesting one, but I guess you could call it a rarity bump. And that is Aurora Battle Princess Cuffspring. This card actually, I believe, came in foil since it was a, uh, a common or an uncommon in the set it came out. And so rare reprint, I guess, just so more readily available for people wanting to build prison. And next back, we have Cool Headed Executor. Makani for the Chaos deck. Not as expensive as Go Ahead Makani, but still, nice pull. And we have Guard Running Through the Earth, Maris. This is for the Luhan deck for Keter, one of its backup grade twos. And Resolute Pair of Eyes for the Roroa deck, just another one of the orders that you use with it. And how many packs we got left? Four packs. I guess there's a chance. I don't know. I don't know what the ratios are per box, but... All we can do is open the packs and find out. And we have our grade four version of Chakrabarthi, True Dragon, Mahar Nirvana, uh, Witch of Accumulation, Sequana, for all the Revel dress cards I'm getting, and also Flare Veil Dragon. So we did pull four triggers. I guess there's no guaranteed ratio per box. Just nice to see a lot of trigger pulls also. All right, next pack. Three left from this box. And we have It's Showtime, Riri Me. So many glitter cards reprinted in this pack, but still very awesome. And we have Phantasmic Stealth Fiend, Megalo Nozuchi, one of the other promo cards, so hopefully easier to get now. And in a foil form for not everyone that got the foil packs for it. And Benediction Sage, this is for the Luhan deck as well. So added backup grade one support, it looks, for the deck. And second to last pack. Our triple rare is, uh, this is actually, I believe, another back of grade three for the Dragon Empire deck for the Smithy uh, in your order zone. And it is Wrought Iron General Dragon Fierce Galer Dragon. 
our Double Rare is Song of Extolment, can be heard, another one of the Chaos Orders. And to go with our new unit support, Guard Running Through the Earth, Luhan. So this is for the Rye deck, the Grade 2 copy, which we haven't pulled the actual main Vanguard yet, but we still have one more pack, so we could pull it from this one. Let's see. And we have, nope, Great Sword of Fierce Black Flame, Obscure Died. And Aurora Battle Princess, Seraph Snow for our double rare. And we pulled five triggers from this one box, Patrol Robo Decker Cop. Just the ability triggers, they really, you know, build up in value. So just to get a bunch of more of them, I have to see how close I am to completely new, you know, play sets for me to reuse also. All right, final box. But like I said, I am getting more of these boxes, so look forward to another opening for sure because I definitely am having fun opening this set for sure but let's see how our luck fares with the final box we pulled an alternate art uh trigger and the illustration rare for Gravidia so hopefully it's another and I'm guessing the promo is just the same all the way around stealth fiend Shenri for that go ahead and lay out the packs for this one we've got 10 to open so just so we know how far along we are with the opening. And first pack. We have another Gravidia Nordlinger for our triple rare. And oh my goodness, we really pulled it from the first pack. Ruse Wildmaster Riley. It's another one of the alternate art triggers, but still a very, very awesome one at that. It's the draw trigger for Dark States. Um, so many fans love these new arts for all the different triggers, and I can see why they would like the one for the Dark States draw. And we have another Aurora Battle Princess Cuffspring. There's a, definitely a lot of rares in this pack, so I'm surprised that we just have so many. All right, so the first box, I had it in the last pack. The second box had it in the second pack, and the third box had it in the first pack. So definitely random ratios. Hopefully, I want to see if we pull a double frame rare. Does it take one of those spots, or is it just going to be included somewhere in the pack? Here is a Twin Direful Dolls Rirumi, a Rot Iron Dragon Zedlons. So this is the grade two for the uh, ride deck. And also Blaze Maiden Parama. So as you can see, this was the one we pulled from the first box. Here is the alternate art compared. Definitely like the alternate art a lot more than the rare version still. For sure there. And let's move right along with our packs. We have another grade for Sylvanhorn Beast Emperor Magnolia Elder. Nice. Another Galactic. We're already pulling some reprints on these. Galactic Base Igus. And, yep, all three of these we pulled already from previous boxes. There's still a bunch of other cards we haven't pulled yet, but I guess that just means that the ratios are definitely random with this set. And this is pack number four. We have Performing Petal Diantha for Stoikea. Clouded Miasma for Stoikea also, and another Knight of Old Fate, Cordiella, for the rare spot. Six packs left. Let's see. And we have, <laughs> we're really pulling the reprint doubles on this. Chakrabarthi Phoenix, Dragon, Nirvana, Jiva. That's a second copy there. Oh, nice. We pulled Emmeline. I'm hoping, I'm glad I got another copy. This might be my playset. I have to go double check, but definitely happy I was able to pull another copy of her. And our rare is One Who Governs Chaos. Yeah, all those we've pulled already. So we're already reaching the spot of getting... I mean, we pulled a lot of triples, but still, I think there are some I haven't seen yet in the set. But nope, there's another Rocker Gore also for Drajeweled. Another Magnolia as well. And our rare is Daring. We pulled all these already from the previous box. Still, they're good. I'm just funny. I want to see something new. Give me a pack with something completely new that I haven't pulled yet. Let's see. And we have, okay, that's something. Deepening Night Tamayura. So one of the original grade threes from this pack. And we have Youth Burke Rebel Form Zest. I think we pulled almost all the forms for Zest, aside from the newest one from set 13. And Ameliorate Connector for our draw trigger spot. All right, we got three packs left. Definitely a long video, but I'm having so much fun opening these. All right, we pulled Soul Awakening Guard Luhan. This was the actual new grade three copy. We pulled, I think, at least almost all the different cards for the deck. And here's his grade three copy. Another Flower of Ruin Castle Imposa and Aspiring Maiden Alana for our rare spots. Second to last pack. We're going to prove my theory that 
The double frame rares don't take up a spot. Let's see. Oh, we have another Soul Awakening Dragon Horse, Lahan Maris. Scarlet of Fluttering, Evanescent Life. And another <laughs> Smith Apprentice Zed Lons. I don't need another one of him. You only need to run one starter per deck. But here is our final pack. Let's see how we end this. Anything crazy? Anything that's going to blow my mind? We have, ladies and gentlemen, Rarami. Is this the one I pulled already? I pulled a lot of Rarami and Rarami stuff to go with the Tamagura from this pack. And we have what I believe was from our first pack, Hyper Robo Shovel Stud, and also another Ardor Hatchet Dragon. But all in all, for being a reprint set, I had a lot of fun opening up this set. We got some pretty awesome alternate arts, including two triggers and then the Nordlinger as well. But as always, until next time, I hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.